Welcome back. Everyone is waiting to see who the winners of HBC's Got Talent 2020 are going to be. I mean, even myself, I am keen. Give me the answers now. But let's remind ourselves first of the talent that we saw yesterday. Check it out. This girl is on fire. This girl is on fire. So I sent that letter to my love, got married to the king, became the one who survived. I've told you about my... So I know you like the guy, you want the money, I pay the money in advance, you know I got the chance, take two friends. Before we get into our winner's announcement, the HBC Vocal Ensemble Group with some of the HBC alumni and the Johannesburg Youth Orchestra have been working on something a little bit special to share with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, let me be your star. And a face and a name to remember The past fades away Because as of this day My fears are gone I'm moving on My smile and your fantasy Play it to That will give
some incredible talent at HBC. I mean, if I do say so myself. But now the moment has arrived. The moment that we've all been waiting for. It's time to announce these winners. Hi, this is Gemma Marinas here, and I've just finished watching HBC's Got Talent, and I have to say, I feel incredibly privileged that I've been able to be a small part of your performing arts journeys, and I really hope that all of you continue your journeys into the future, as you're all incredibly talented. I'd also like to say a big thank you to Heron Bridge College for even in these really trying times placing a focus on the arts and allowing your creative students to be able to continue their passions. So without further ado, I now pass you over to the judges for the results. I'm so thrilled to be announcing third place today in HBC's Got Talent. This performer negotiated a vocal obstacle course with dexterity, skill and cleverness. She also completely drew us into her performance and she paid attention to every detail of her entire product, her video, her costumes, her makeup. She put it all together so deftly and with such skill that it could almost have been a professional production. In addition to that, she is an incredibly versatile and clever and accomplished vocalist, which is rare for her age. I would like to present third place to Rachel Games. Congratulations, darling, and well done to everyone else who participated. Hi guys, Nicole Sheraton here. What an honor and a privilege it has been to judge this competition of HBC's Got Talent. I thoroughly enjoyed every single moment of it and everybody are winners. But in second place is going to Agape Ledimo for her rendition of This Girl Is On Fire. Well done, I thoroughly enjoyed. Congratulations, keep on shining. To each and every one of you out there that competed in today's show. It was fantastic from top to bottom and each and every one of you can be so proud. In fact, give yourselves a digital Wi-Fi over the internet. Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, I'm giving you one now. It was really, really, really great. And uh, you know what you did for me and I think you did it for the other judges as well. Um, you made us remember why we got into this industry in the first place. You ignited a little flame in me. And the winner is... Jess Robas with her original song. Jess, a massive, massive well done to you. Um, when somebody says that they are going to um, enter a competition with an original body of work, often as a judge, I get a little bit anxious because it's one of the hardest things you can do. Um, usually when you, you, you use somebody else's body of work uh, and it's about how you execute your skills um, in a tried and tested little um, you know, shell that's uh, got all the right elements. But uh, hey, you nailed it absolutely 100%. I think you are so close to having your song realized, um, or your dream realized rather, by having your song on a, uh, on a TV show or, or a movie. In fact, if I close my eyes now, I can hear you um, in a really uh, beautiful moment in a, in a, in a, on a Netflix docky or, or something along those lines. Uh, really beautiful. I think the video was shot excellently as well. Um, and the lyrics for somebody so young um, to, to write um, a really beautiful, uh, concise uh, melody accompanied by beautiful lyrics I thought was incredibly well done. From somebody who is a professional musician and who makes music professionally each and every day of his life. Um, I was a little check. Well done. Hi Heronbridge School, my name is Suzette, um, I'm a former Miss South Africa and thank you very much for the opportunity to participate as a judge to give some input in who I think should be selected in your photographic modelling competition. Um, uh, first of all congratulations to all four girls for entering, I thought you did incredibly well. Um, it's never easy to put yourself out there to be, to be judged and we live in an era where um, the image we portray on social media with photographs and videos are so important and it's um it can easily be misused and um, abused so i want to thank all of you for the natural element of freshness you brought in and i think that had a lot to do with the theme um, that was given to you uh, expecting you what what to portray so congratulations and well done so for me the winner ticked the following boxes and i'm just going to refer to my notes i thought there was an adherence or appropriateness to the theme 
The person who, who in my opinion, should win um, definitely followed the brief um, in terms of the, the, the specific photo shoots they had to do. There was also a, a excellent lighting on her um, and she certainly gave a lot of thought to her backdrop um, and made sure that uh, the model and the, the wardrobe and what she was supposed to portray really stood out. There was also a clarity of expression, there was a, a confidence, there was a sparkle in the eye, there was, um, you know, how she was portraying and shaping her body for the photo shoot. Uh, definitely a, a comfortableness in front of the camera. Certainly also what impressed was the creativity and the or originality she brought to, to her photographs. There was a lot of thought put into different hairstyles, accessories, color combinations, um, props uh, like a cup of tea or you know that they, they certainly did think what was in the background was there anything that was going to distract people when they look at the photograph so a lot of thought was put into detail like that um yeah it was difficult to ignore this person so um congratulations hannah well done and um she's our winner of the photographic competition Hello? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Hello? We're, we're going live? Right now? But, uh, what? Uh, hey guys, look, I just got off the phone with Heronbridge and they just told me now, well, obviously, <sighs> couldn't dress the part, but they've just told me now that they've chosen another runner up for the photo shoot to win 1,500 Rand. Are you ready? And the winner is. Girl, well done girl, go and get it. I'm gonna go get my photo shoot buddy, you know what I'm saying? Woo! So we are now moving on to the announcement of our Stageworks voucher winners. Now these vouchers can be exchanged for classes, courses, online workshops, showreels, photography sessions, whatever the students would like to assist them with their performing arts journey. And we will be in contact with the winners directly after the program. Now with the third place voucher winner of 500 Rand, I had a little bit of a predicament because there were two boys that I wanted to give this voucher to. One of which showed so much energy and charisma that I think he was born to be on stage. And the other one, such a passion and a drive for creating music. So I chatted to the powers that be at Heronbridge, who made it possible for us to offer two 500 Rand vouchers for Stageworks, and that goes to Josiah and Liam. Our second place voucher winner goes to one of our dancers. And this young lady showed so much passion in what she does and so much dedication that I cannot wait to work with her. And that goes to Justine. In first place with a 1,500 Rand voucher for Stageworks is a young vocalist that showed nothing but dedication and commitment during the rehearsal process with her coach and is absolutely phenomenal. And I cannot wait to continue her vocal journey with her. And this goes to Agape. I am now thrilled to announce the winner of the most innovative recording voucher. This award was very difficult as we could see that everybody put a lot of effort into their entries. And I know that working in a medium of video production and putting something out there can be really, really daunting. Well done to this young performer who not only offered up an incredible skill set in the way that she performed, but she also utilized every single tool at her disposal to create a final product that was mind-blowing and that most importantly drew us into her narrative and her very important message. She used other dancers, props, clever uses of lighting, very clever sets and set changes, location changes, as well as managing a team, which obviously had to take place and she also decided to include photographs in her entry which just took it up that level. I'd like to take this time to award this to Agape Ledimo. Well done. And the most thought-provoking piece goes to the man Mvusi Nkonyama. Well done. The next person that is winning voucher number three for the most technically outstanding is Skian Statler. I've never seen footwork like this in a very long time and I am 
overly whelmed and overly impressed by Kian. Well done, buddy, and congratulations. So the next two categories for me, I feel, are some of the most important categories that we mark on. It's for dedication and inspiration. The most dedicated performer and the most inspiring performer. And the reason why these categories are so important is because in lead up to a career as a performing artist, your dedication and your commitment and your positivity are the things that is really going to drive you forward. The most dedicated goes again, and I've mentioned this previously, to a young dancer who showed nothing but dedication and commitment through the whole of her process, and that is Justine. And the final category, most inspirational. This young boy just bounded energy and charisma constantly. He always had all of our coaches and whoever he was working with in a positive frame of mind after every single session. And Matt specifically said that filming him and assisting him with his work was an absolute pleasure. Now, if you can make people feel that way after a rehearsal, there's nothing better than that. So the Inspiration Award goes to Liam. Congratulations to all the winners and a huge thank you to the HBC and Stageworks teams. Shouts out to all of you guys. Thank you so much for making this possible. We hope to see you again, but to close off, not just our students have talent, guys. Let's take a look at what the talent of the staff has to offer. Let's go. Are you part of the universe or is the universe part of you?
Get deep, deep.